So one of the things you can sell on your Etsy shop is these retro Christmas style designs. And these are very good to sell because you're merging in two things, the Christmas season, along with one of the popular fonts that is really being utilized right now on the Etsy marketplace. Well, in today's video, I'm sharing with you exactly how to merge these two things to create your own designs. And the platform we're gonna to use today is Kittle. Now, the reason why I love using Kittle is because they bring a lot of features in that I normally don't find on my other platforms that I use to create my product. And so in today's video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of how to actually do this step-by-step -step using Kittle. And then I'm gonna share with you an example of how to create this retro style Christmas design you can sell on your pro-on-demand business. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Everything I talk about today will be linked down in my description box below. Again, our main platform that we're gonna to utilize today to create this retro Christmas design for our t-shirt brand is Kittle. Now, Kittle is a great place if you are new to creating any type of designs for your print-on-demand business. They have a large community of print-on-demand sellers and designers where you can actually utilize their templates and remix that or create your own design from what they created. This makes it so easy because again, you're talking about working from people who are graphic designers and then utilizing what they have to create your own design for your print-on-demand business. Again, this saves so much time because you're not creating anything from scratch and you are utilizing key things that are found on these amazing designs to utilize on your own print on demand product. Now you're able to utilize Kittle for free if you want to get started and test it out. I am utilizing their subscription plan, which allows me to have some features and some font designs and some textures I can bring in to really make this design my own. But again, I'll leave all the information in my description box below if you want to learn exactly what comes along with their subscription package. All right, so this is Kittle. Again, if you wanna learn all about it, I'll make sure I leave it in my description box below. But one of the things we wanna do is definitely work from a template as this will be so much easier for us to create our design for our pro on demand business. All right, so from here, we're gonna pick this design and we're gonna remix this to our own design that we're gonna use for a Christmas shirt. You're probably looking at this trying to figure out how we're gonna make this into a Christmas shirt. Well, this is the beauty of utilizing some things that's already in the Kittle space and remixing this and making it our own and putting some things in there to really bring out whatever niche we wanna sell in. So we're gonna jump into this particular template, change some things up to make this into a retro Christmas t-shirt design. All right, so now that we are in this particular template, one of the things we definitely want to do as soon as we get here remove all the things that we don't want to use so as you can see all this is grouped together but one easy way to ungroup this is just to right click and go to ungroup or you can hit you know Control g or whatever you may be on with windows or mac but i just want to get all this ungrouped so i can delete all these things that i don't want so i can add some things in so that's what we did here we deleted this and delete this and we ungroup some things to delete that and i just want to keep the text here and some words so I can add in my own text for my particular project that I'm doing here. So this is kind of where I want to work from, utilize the, you know, the retro style font that we already have here. This checkerboard is definitely in style with Etsy right now. We see that being sold all over the Halloween products and that's also merging to the Christmas products. So we definitely want to utilize that as well as this banner in the bottom because it's Christmas time. I think that's great for us to put maybe Christmas at the bottom or some type of jolly or joy, but utilizing that particular banner, I think will be great for us moving forward with our Christmas retro design. So from here, we want to go ahead and delete this. And with this porkies, we want to change this text here. And all I got to do is just highlight this. I want to go in here and change these words. And I definitely want to put Mary and all the things that we had with our original design. The color style is already set in place. And I want to change the bottom here. Instead of it saying butcher shop, I want to put Christmas. Now, one of the things I want to do with this text here, see is how it's kind of rounding up with our ribbon, but it's not fitting the size of our ribbon. I can grab the edge here and make it larger. But as you see, it is, it is getting larger, but it's not fitting into our ribbon. So I want to go down to transfer here. I want to reset, transform, and I want to utilize this tool to really wrap it around a little bit more if i want to make this smaller i can go to the text here and make it smaller but i just want to get this dialed in to my ribbon that i have here so it can fit the right way on my t-shirt design if you find that you need to make this a little bit more larger in regards to the curvature you can also grab the top here and sink it in and see how the curve goes in a little bit more and push it out and it flattens out a little bit more so i just want to get this lined up for my design and get this exactly where i want it to be 
So now we have our word up top. We have our Mary and we have our Christmas at the bottom linked in with our ribbon. I group that together. So if I move it around, it's all in one place. Now I want to add a centerpiece to my design and Kittle has a lot of elements you can use already. So I go over to this little option here, find my elements and I want to search up some Christmas elements I can use. And one of the things I definitely want to use is some type of Santa character in the middle. And I want to bring that in from all of these amazing designs that we have already found in Kittle. So I found my design here. So all I got to do is just click it over and I have my Santa design right in the middle, grab the edge to make that larger. And what I find to really work is having something as a centerpiece of my design. It really attracts the eyes when people are searching on Etsy for a t-shirt. And then I can just build some things around this to really draw in that design a little bit more. But I think we have a good design already in the middle. And I just want to bring in some more designs to make this a really, you know, Christmas style design. And then from here, we're going to talk about how we can make this to have some textures in regards to our elements and our funds to really make this different for our Etsy business. Now from here, I want to add in some more things on the side just to bring out the Christmas season. And so again, we're already in the elements that we have on Kittle for Christmas things. So I want to go down until I find maybe some uh, Christmas ornaments that I can use to really bring out this design further. So I already see some designs I want to use here. I want to use this ball right here that we can use on the side of our design. And I want to look and see if I can find some type of ribbon I can add to the top of this Christmas ornament. And now I have the Christmas ornament here that I want to overlay with this bow. Now, one of the things that I definitely want to do is add this to be on top of it. See how it's coming behind. And all I have to do is right click and I want to go to forward and bring to the front. And now that will overlay the ornament design. So it looks as if the bow is uh, hovering over our ornament on the top. So usually what I like to do is that when I find two things I want to use, I definitely want to merge them together so they can be one design. And I'll do that here. Again, I just select the bow. Then I hold shift and I'll select the ornament here. I'll right click and it's already grouped together. And I have it here as one single piece. Now what's cool about using these elements from Kittle is that they give you all this information in regards to what colors are being used. This is great to make sure you dial in your colors the right way so everything can be consistent as you're using different elements in your one design. And so if I want to pick some colors out from what's already here, I can change that and make sure that all of my colors are consistent with what is in my design. So just for our example today, I'm going to leave all the colors the same, but I want to add some other ornaments on this side so I can actually have it be balanced out with our overall design. So I think our design is almost finished, but I want to add some more things here in the bottom space and maybe bring out a little bit more of this Christmas style that we have. So I'm going to go back to my element here and I want to add Christmas candy canes. And I want to see what type of things come up. And I have this candy cane here that I want to utilize. If I want to go ahead and change the color red or change this to a different color, I can go in here and use the pen tool and highlight over color I want to use. But for the sake of this video, I think we are good with where we are today. Again, I want to change this to be the ultra white that we have. And again, everything looks good here. Now, I want to have two candy canes being in the same design, but set them up to be a little bit different than what we have here. And so I'm going to add some things here on both sides and see how it looks for our overall design. So I added a group of candy canes on one side and a group of candy canes on the other side. Again, you can take some things in, add some things, whatever you want to do for your design. But just for the sake of this example, I'm going to share with you how you can add different elements in to actually create your overall t-shirt designs. Now, in regards to this, Mary, I just want to add this here because, you know, Kittle does a wonderful job in regards to how we can actually make the words uh, you know come out for our overall design i'm using the angle style but you also have the flag version where it manipulates the word that we have i can set this to be the wave uh, style the rise file i can have a custom if i want to an arch but what's so cool about this is that i can grab the edges here and just really shift this to be my overall you know style that i want to choose for my words so this is what i mean by bringing in that retro design having these words be different again you can add some words in if you want take some things away but this is what I mean by I'm able to utilize Kittle to do things that I just couldn't do in my other software programs. And they make it so user friendly, especially if you are a beginner. So I want to go back to my original design that I had, just have it at an angle just for today's example. And I want to go ahead and add some textures in. And if you realize I already have some textures in from this design, but I want to make sure that these textures are not coming into my background. As I'm going to share with you how that's going to look really messed up. I want to make sure that I utilize their wrap feature just to have the, uh, filter in the background in the particular texture on the design itself. So if I head over to layers and I just share with you a little bit about how this looks, if you don't set the uh, texture to be wrapped around the design and text, this is how it's going to look when you print it out. And I don't want that to be done on my design, nor do you. So I want to definitely add the background in, but in regards to this texture that I have here, I want it only to be wrapped 
around the elements, the fonts and everything that's presented on my design, not necessarily the background. And the way I do that here, I just simply hit the background here and it shows up my texture and I have this content um, clip. I call it wrap, but just a content clip here. I can just simply wrap around my design. And as you can see, if I take out my background here, the only thing that's showing up is the texture on the design, not the background itself, right? And so this is what you wanna do if you wanna add some textures in. Again, they have a whole texture filter over here if you wanna check out those textures here on your own time. But if you are adding the textures to your design, you wanna make sure that it's not in the background because it's gonna look like this once it's printed out on your T-shirt. You wanna make sure that when the background is removed, you are clipping the text or wrapping it around the text just to have it on the design itself and not on the overall layout that we have for our canvas. So that being said here, everything looks good here. I want to go ahead and download this. I can use this for my print on demand product. And I want to actually create this in two ways in regards to my uh, downloads. I want to, first of all, download this as the SVG file. So one of the things I want to do here, yes, we have already removed the background, but it's always a good practice to remove the background here with the option that we have. And I want to optimize the quality for my SVG file. So I download that here and I use the SVG file for my print on demand partner to get the highest quality of the image. But I also want to download this as the PNG g file as this is going to be used for my mock-up design that i use for my product so my mock-up designer don't take the svg file it takes only the png file so that's why i particularly download two again printify takes the svg file and my uh, t-shirt mock-up designer takes the png file so i want to download both of those things here so now that our design is complete, I'm going to jump into the mock-up generator I use for my t-shirt and sweater print on demand products. I'm going to share with you how this design is going to look on our print on demand product. So that is it. We have our t-shirt design that we actually created and Kittle to use for our sweatshirt design. But again, as you often learn from my videos, whatever you create for your t-shirts can be merged over to your sweatshirts and different products. But in our case today, we dialed this in for a sweatshirt design. So overall, I think our product looks good. And again, Kittle was great to use because this took us no time to create this retro style you know design product for our pro demand business and for us to really utilize things that is already made from great designers and use their template to remix this and create this to be our own and so again this is great to do for any products you want to create and it saves so much time for you to create multiple products and upload them into etsy and start making passive income online so as you can see, creating these retro style designs is really easy to do when you actually learn how to create them or remix them from pre-made designs from amazing graphic designers. Again, this saves you so much time because you don't have to create anything from scratch and you are able to get more products up in your store when you design this type of way. Now, I'll make sure I leave all the links to the information regarding Kittle if you want to get started on your own and you are able to create your free account just by clicking the link down in my description box below just to test this out to see if this is best for your business. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.